I know a guy who could fix that. Fix that. Overseer's Log, Town of Flatwoods. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. There's something else. A disease. Wow. I was attacked by here. Why not? Well, it used to be a person. Four, but it had these two. green, glowing lesions, and its voice. Angry, tortured. We are one. 
Upon what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but... Someone's got to know where the missile silos are, and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. Uh, hi. Daza asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. She asked everybody, so I, I said okay. My, name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people. The cows with two heads, all of it. I was bad. Just bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and uh, put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and uh, put new Coca-Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. And, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. Because my dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things wouldn't happen. I haven't seen Daddy since the bombs, and I guess he left because of that, too. It's okay. I'm trying to be good now, though. I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I can help collect food and water, so I'm getting better, I promise. And um, Daddy, if you're listening, I, I promise I won't be bad anymore, so you can come back now. Okay. Dear listeners, it's time once again to put aside all you think you know, all you believe to be true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre, and sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own, where myth, legend, and rumor are made real. Yes, it's time for more thrilling tales from the West Virginia Hills. Tonight's episode, Who Goes There? A strange encounter in Flatwoods is brought to you by 
Sugar Bombs, the breakfast cereal with explosive great taste and 100% of the recommended daily allowance of sugar. Get your morning started right with Sugar Bombs. Our tale begins on a fateful night when a young pioneer scout, Red Fisher, finds himself in quite the predicament, having taken a spill and fallen into a dark place. Where am I? Jack? Biff? survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we hold them in a house in town for a while. The circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. to Flatwoods. It was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountain who stole our apartment. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly. 
We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science. operations. Mom and Dad yelling after me to slow down. 
wasn't gonna happen. I guess I was always hitting my fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout. I had to make troop leader. Couldn't just be a good student. I had to have straight A's. God, I miss those early days. Just being a kid. Simple life. Our simple house. I wonder if it's still standing. Ugh. <sighs> 
Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see, helping folks through thick and thin until the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most it was time. This was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake, that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to been thought. So I asked him. I asked how? Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind a dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. It seemed obvious. We tried but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. Then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But until then, let's share a home-cooked meal together, all right? 